You are live. Fantastic. Um, right, excuse the, everything. I've literally just come out to the workshop. I haven't put the microphone on, I've just realised, so hopefully the sound isn't too horrific. Now, I have got an extender in my office, which is right there, so hopefully the uh, the Wi-Fi signal will be a little bit better on this one. However, I have realised that by putting tin foil on here, and I will be doing more on the ceiling, that I'm basically creating a big old Faraday case. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, the point of this video and live today is I said that I'm going to try and do some lives um, live unboxings. I have got a couple of things that I can't unbox live purely because to show them properly in the video, I'm going to need to do a bunch of things. Um, and I'll tell you about those at the end of today. But today I bought something from Amazon. This wasn't sent to me. This is something that I purchased my little self. And I think if this works, is going to be a very cool thing to have. So um, I don't know if you've heard of them, but mag switches are predominantly over in the States and they're quite expensive when they get to the UK because they're something that obviously all of the, the shipping charges and all that sort of stuff gets added to. And um, that makes things quite problematic. Let me just check that I've got live chat on rather than just top chat. I have. And uh, yeah, so with the mag switch stuff, it looks amazing and you can get feather boards and they do a whole bunch of products with these magnet switches in them. So it means that you can just bang on your table saw and or your drilling bed or your bandsaw or whatever you've got this that's cast iron or metal and you can um, magnetize things down, which just makes life a lot, lot easier. There are brilliant items. Hello, Della. <laughs> Tim, how you doing, buddy? Um, they're, they're great things, but like I say, over in the UK here, they're jolly expensive. And I don't know of a company that stocks them and sort of resells them at a reasonable price or comparable to that of America. So this may be an alternative. Now this is 15 quid or just a hair under, 14.99 possibly. Um, like I say, I did buy it myself. I've not un unboxed it yet, so I don't know if it's actually any good. And so we'll find out together. But I have got an affiliate link down um, uh, in the in the description if that sort of if this sort of thing takes you takes you fancy. And uh, affiliate links basically anyone can make affiliate links. Um, they're just something that um, you need a, an Amazon account to do. So that it's not because the company have given me money off. It's an Amazon thing. So if you want to support the channel. Go ahead and check that out. I need to make a, a storefront really at some point. But let me just see about moving the camera down and we can do an unboxing. It's a rather jolly little angle, isn't it? Um, right, have I got have I got anything to hand? No, I'm, the reason I'm over here, by the way, as opposed to being in my normal bit of the workshop is because this is happening and that's happening because I made those. Um, the last time I've been out, I was out here. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to be, I'll tell you all about those in a minute. You want to see the thing. That's why we're here. Right, let's get back to it. <laughs> okay. Um, why, what went on then? Something went pear-shaped. Sorry, I don't know. Hopefully I'm still alive. I don't know where I went. But I'm back now. Okay, Koki, so this is the kitty. 15 quid, I thought this was worth a bash, to be honest. Um, now what this is, is a, it's a magic arm, and if you're not in, in, uh, in do, don't, or if you haven't done sort of filmy things, you might not know what a magic arm is, but basically you've got a ball joint going on right here, you see that? There's another one right here, and then there's a, uh, sort of it can clamp together, but it's, there's that sort of movement there. Basically it means that you've got movement all over the show, and you can do what you like. When you tighten this up on this uh, this knob right here, it basically, these I think are attached to like a, a cord or something, or I can't remember, but it pulls it all together. And so then it's solid, it's not going anywhere. So first off the bat, you don't have to use this, but if you want to, you can attach sort of all sorts of things into that hole right there. You can make things, you can do all sorts of gubbins for that kind of nonsense. Um, and so it can give you an extra helping hand or it could hold a dust collector or it could hold, you know, all manner of things. But we'll pop that up for the time being. I'd say you can unscrew the whole thing if you have a little, if you have a little uh, 
uh, a spanner to undo that one. That will come out and that's a quarter 20 thread in there, which is great. So if anyone does any filming of themselves, this is a brilliant idea. Right, what I'm gonna do is take this off. That's just muck. And I mean, it should be fairly straightforward. It's an off and an on. I don't know if that's backwards to you, it might be, but it's an off and an on. So there, nothing, nothing going on at all. But then, bosh. <laughs> right, so you can move it if you really go for it, but I believe it's about 30 kilos of force um, to pull up. Now, as we know, with a magnet, you don't, you know, to, to remove a magnet, if you go to the to the side, oh my God, no, that's not happening either. If I use the thing as a lever, I can lever it off like that, but I can't, Jesus, I can barely lift it off. That's, that's on a, that's on there good. But do that, bosh. All right then, Dean, so why is this, um, uh, something that's worthwhile in the world of woodworking. Well, let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna have to pretend here a little bit, okay? So, we'll pop that down there. What we'll do is we'll pretend this is my mitre sled, okay? It's running in that track right there, bosh. And I want to cut, oh, I wanna cut very definite amounts of wood off of this this bit right here on my mitre sled, all right? So we get the, the magnet, we pop that there, click it down, and then move the wood up to it, cut it. Move the wood up to it, cut it. Move the wood up to it, cut it. Bosh, that's, that's use number one. Use number two is for things like um, pillar drills, and, uh, and if your bandsaw has a cast iron table on that, anything that's metal on your workshop. If you've got a if you've got a drain pipe that you need to stick something to, you can do that and then that have, have, have that holding a, a heater or whatever else. But what this what this does in here, I think if it works the same as the mag switch thing, is essentially it, um, there's like a cylinder magnet or a, a various poles of a magnet and it twists them. So yeah, that I think is really bloody good. Oh, and you can do it. I've lost a bunch of viewers. Are you really bored of it? So you can do it that way. Bosh. And if you do it that way, bosh. That's still on there as well. Show us the holy end. So there's that bit, that bit. If you look on the, uh, if you look on the, I've put a link in the description and that should take you directly to it. And that's the bottom. But that is a solid, solid magnet that, I mean, you can see from the side, have I, got a, have I got a ruler to hand? I have not. I reckon that's a couple of inches, other end. How many other ends are there? <laughs> I can always take that off. Hold on. Oh God, have I just ripped this? Hold on a second. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I've got all the gear now, look. All the gear now. Ugh. Measurements wise, FYI, it is just over two inches tall. You can see that there. Um, we're looking about two and a half inches long, something like that, maybe. The width of it, whatever that says, a couple of inches. Bosh, but if we get this, where am I trying to hold it? If I just do that, bosh, some of that, unscrew, and I'd say we've got a quarter 20 thread on the top of that to use with whatever you fancy. So yeah, you can use it as a stop on your on your table saw. You can use it as a stop on your fence for your uh, for your um, uh, uh, drill or whatever else. I imagine there'll be a certain level of hold down with 
all manner of things, will there? I don't know, that's going to be too thick though, surely. I mean, <laughs> there's options, possibly. <laughs> but, you know, or it's a case if you can just pop something in the top of it and it'll hold you, hold it while it's working for you. Um, but I think this is going to be incredibly useful, particularly, like I said earlier on, when using the miter gauge, because we can pop it on there, we can pop the bit of wood up to it, it's not going to move, and then some of that. You can even do that if you've got metal on your miter station, I suppose, or anything like that. Or um, what there could be an option of doing, and if I buy another one of these, what I might do is actually make a feather board with this situated in it. So I can then pop the feather board down, turn it on, and that's going to make sure that it keeps my thing pressed up against the, the workpiece. Now that is a uh, that is a mag switch idea, but it's not something that I would sell. So, oh, so for instance, could cut a hole in this, bosh that in there, like that, and then no, it has to be there, yeah, that way up. So that sits in the hole, and then all we have to do is we pop that against the workpiece, turn that on. And that'll hold that down. You with me? Do you get me? So yeah, I think that'll be uh, that'll be all right. That, but that this is just a cheap feather board off. I don't know some nonsense. And how hard can it be? That's got to be pretty thin plastic in there, so that'll be easy enough just to to cut a square out of. But so that for fifteen smackaroos is. Uh, it's brilliant. But if you want the proper thing, then go to, um, uh, what's it called? MagSafe? No. I can't remember. I can't remember the, the, the name. I think it might be MagSafe. Um, the people who do the proper woodworky ones. Um, but uh, that's it. This is going to be significantly cheaper than, uh, than getting those. So that is going to be a very useful little addition to my workshop. And I think I might buy more because there's a bunch of things you can do to hold down, use these to hold, hold stuff down on. So I, I think that's great. So 15 pound well spent, link in the description if you'd want to treat yourself to something cheap and cheerful, but you know, you just feel like you want something new because you didn't buy yourself on Black, Third, Black Friday. There we go. So what's going on in, um, in the workshop the rest of the time? Like I showed you at the start, I've put some French cleats up, which were actually parts of an old 1930s door. Um, they are Douglas fir, and um, I just ripped them down, and they're uh, and they're up there now. Uh, I'll let you have a look at what's going on there. Um, I didn't do anything special with it. I didn't do any. Uh, I didn't video doing it because all I did was just rip down pieces of wood, put a 45 degree cut with the table saw along the top of each one. And then that was that. So they're all um, just like, they're all about sort of 15, 16 mil out from the wall. I would prefer it if they were all 18 mil, but it is what it is. So that's that for the time being. Um, what I want to do is I've got to get rid of my, all my clamps and, and, a, and a couple of things that are just making a mess of the workshop. Once I've, um, Cheers, buddy. Cheers, have a great day. Um, once I've tidied up the workshop a little bit, and that's meant putting clamps somewhere, then I, I've, I've got a few videos that I need to do, but I also want to make a video where I show how I make things to hold things on the French cleats. Do you know what I mean? So things like the, um, the drill situation that I've got there, is that was something that I'd done previously and I just stuck a cleat on the back. The same with the um, the the squares box, the faithful squares. I did just rub the top down on that one and give it a coat of, uh, of Danish oil from the no-nonsense range. Um, the hammer holder is just a couple of dowels on a piece of wood, which I need to be, I need to make better. The, um, the saw holder there, that was something that I did spend a bit more time on. Just a bit of wood though, with a shaped piece that um, of plywood that fits in the handle. So again, super easily done. And then I will make another one of these um, holders for the, for the Japanese saws because I think they look quite nice and I need to make a proper one. But they're just ones that I threw together um, just because I needed to uh, create some space. I had a bit of a moment on 
Monday when I made those and I made those all within a few hours and nearly killed myself. That's why I've been, it's taken me this long to get back out in the garage. I've, uh, yeah, the illness did not appreciate all that level of work. So a couple of other things to let you know what are coming. Um, the wonderful company called Sigman have sent me one of these uh, lasers. Would have been good to have that before I put those up. To be fair, I'm not going to lie, but uh, we can we can use that laser to test uh, how straight I am. But uh, that will be coming out in, within the next month once I've used it a little bit. So that's good. Um, this stuff all has to be tidied up something chronic. I would strongly suggest that no nonsense Danish oil from Screwfix. I think that's actually reasonably good. For the money involved, I think that's quite, uh, quite splendid. And final thing, just to, to give you a heads up on, nothing to do with any sponsorship or anything like that, but I got, I bought this from Giacomo, right? This is, cause I'm, I'm a cuddly fella. All right, so I don't want anything too thick when I'm in the workshop, especially if I've got to put my apron over the top of it. This is quite thin, but it's quilted, so it's relatively warm. But 45 quid, I'm Giacomo at the moment for 20, 17 or 20, one of the two. So if you're like me and want something kind of that's relatively warm, that doesn't cost very much because you're going to knacker it up in the uh, in the workshop, pop yourself over to Giacomo and, uh, and yeah, there you go. But... This was the purpose of today's video. I think it's gone all right. Hopefully you can hear me and see me okay and that's all fine and dandy. Anyone got any questions about this? Let me just look in the chat. If anyone's got any questions, then please do throw them out now. Live chat. Uh, love a little bit of Herbauer. I've got loads of Herbauer stuff. Um, the top bit, the whole stuff. Yeah, I showed you that. What's it called? A magnet. Show us the whole the end. Did that lovely old job. So yeah. Um, one of the things that I want to make for the French cleat wall, which I don't really see, is because, you know, I've got a lot of Herbauer stuff, I've got a lot of cheap and cheerful stuff. What I don't have is things like a, a cordless um, uh, sander and all that sort of nonsense. So I've got to make some, the only thing that I've got to put up there, I've got three things that need to go up. I've got a, a, a circular saw, which is cordless. I've got a uh, my, my hand router, palm router, um, which is not cordless, and I've got a sander, which is not cordless. I've got one sander here, but I've got another one coming tomorrow, which I'm buying, so I can do a, a, a quality review on that, because I had a bit of an issue the other day, on Monday when I was sanding, that the end of my finger just went totally numb, and it's still not quite right, to be honest with you. So I've got something else that's a little bit more expensive, but it's not, you know, crazy stupid murder money or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it is expensive. But I'll let you know more about that when I uh, when I when I receive it. But no, so far that's where we're at with the workshop. So today I'm going to be doing some tidying up, sorting out storage for my clamps, and then I will um, I'll film a, a, a proper video about something. I'm midway through loads of projects, so I need to get that sorted out. Um, and then uh, Monday. Monday slash Tuesday will be a proper video, promise. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just not sure on what yet. If there's, a, as always, if there's anything that you would like to see on this channel, please do let me know. But uh, I've got some exciting stuff coming up and I know there's been a lot of things that have been built specifically for the workshop. Um, but, you know, it's, it's how I've learned how to do things and the skills that I've learned by building this stuff in here is gonna make the stuff that I make nicely so much better from the outset hopefully that's that's the thing but yeah if you do want one of these click in the description there's one there all right then have a great day and i will uh speak to you very very soon this hat don't i look cool <laughs> hipsters bloody hipsters <laughs>